present his screen, so that would be good. Okay, recording. Go ahead. All right, so everyone just, you know, just keep in mind that what you're doing is just giving us an update, you know, on what you accomplished over this last hour. And then hopefully we can have a conversation around that, a discussion or feedback. Okay, so I'll go first. So for my group, um, I was involved for the legal information, like finding what law codes or permits we would need if we did um, any physical project on this law. Ryan, if you could show the codes. Um, so I was able to find some um, online, but again, I could only put so many because we don't know what's our definite project going to be. So I found um, certain general ones that we could use for... Um, for any project on this lot because these are local laws of Staten Island. Many of these involving safety, the design or construction of whatever we decide to put, and um, any um, any any um, outreach of the already existing building owners around that area. Thank you, Mario. Okay. Um, uh, for me, my tasks are to make an AutoCAD um, Tabu floor plan, which I'll be working on this weekend. Um, the circulation, which is uh, the traffic flow within the, um, the lot, and then the sensory, which is the sound and the noise in the community in the area and how it will play a part in our designing process for the lot. Um, I was beginning to look up the, the sensory information. I'm still currently doing that, but I did um, add information, the, the pictures that um, the stakeholder emailed us, and these are pictures of the lot. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's all. That's it. Yeah, that's fine. It's a quick update, you know, because okay. if not, we would stay here for another hour, two hours, you know. So you can move on to the next. You can okay. continue to share your screen um, for the other students involved in the vacant lot. Okay. We only stop presenting. All right. Is that all for the vacant lot? Who else is part of the vacant lot? Um, oh, my okay. God. Diamond. All right, Diamond. I'm going to show my screen now. You can hear me? Yes. So, I did a budgeting of funding right here. And I added some things. If we put them in a lot, then we can only use them. <clears throat> but I'm not sure if we're going to use each one of them. They're realistic, but not really realistic. The prices. Okay. Are you? Do you know where you're referencing these um, these numbers? Where are these numbers coming from? Are you saving it somewhere? Just make sure that you uh, keep a record. Oh yeah, I have them. Okay. They're somewhere else. Yeah. All right. Can you tell, just quickly guide us through some of those numbers, really quick? Like, uh, if you just zoom in. I'm trying to zoom in. So we have a farmers market. The rent would be. Six hundred to seven hundred dollars per month. Um, employees. I'm not sure. Like they will have to get paid minimum wage, right? So I have to change that price, right? I believe so. Construction is a thousand to four thousand. 
I'm pretty sure it's more, but I don't really know about goody things exactly. So I just materials and supplies five hundred to a thousand, products two thousand to five thousand. Okay. If we have a community center, the construction will be a thousand to seven thousand. Furniture a thousand to two thousand. Staff they'll be volunteered because like it's for their community. Rent seven hundred to two thousand per month. Materials and supplies a thousand to four thousand. Okay. If we have a community garden, this year's will be forty to a hundred dollars. Most two hundred to six hundred dollars. Materials and supplies a hundred to six hundred dollars. Insurance and extra fleet extra fees is a thousand to four thousand. And I have ways to get funding from the government, a car wash, um, bank loan, and community support. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, so one question I have in regards to the community center, are you basing those numbers off of square footage? I didn't really think of that, but I'm right. think of it, then I'll change it. About, I'll, make, I'll be making comments on, on these. I'll be making notes on your um, and tidy on it, all right? All right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. And also, um, just make sure you paste in the link of where you're finding this information so I can have access to it as well. All right, Diamond? Okay. It's on my Google slide that I did. Okay. Jordan. Okay. Hey, uh, Mr. Rodriguez, are we going to have a uh, works cited slide on the, um, on the presentation? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like some footnotes and stuff. Because, yeah, I'm wondering where these estimates are coming from as well. Exactly. Awesome. No, they came from me. Well, like some came from me and like two came from my website. You know how much okay. insurance is? A lot. A, a lot? So can we be specific, please? Um, and find out. 10, but yeah, it's, it's part of the process. Awesome. Awesome. But we need spec specifics. Okay. All right, Diamond, next. I'll keep the screen up. So I believe Sonia. Is Sonia with us today? All right, so we're missing Sonia. All right, I'm making note of the ones that are not here, Mr. Pesca, all right? Yeah, Sonia was here, and then she just yeah, she just got here. kicked off like two minutes ago, so I'm not sure what happened. All right. Oh, there she is. Sonia, you're up. Sorry, my internet's not the best right now. All good. Where should I zoom in on Um... I'm still doing my research part, but I added more to my, I added my task and I did add to the research topic. That's all I do. And I'm still researching. Okay. Can you just let, um, just zoom in a little bit on that diamond so we can see exactly what Sonia is working on. I put the questions of okay. what I have to research. Um, is there restrictions on what can be built there? What can be built there that can be used to its full potential for the neighborhood? And does the community have an opinion on what they want in this space? Yeah, these are really good questions. Uh, did, you, did you find information in regards to this? For the restrictions on what has to be built there, I have the weight on the dimensions and stuff, so I can find out like what exactly can be put in the space and how big it has to be. Um, and for the full potential, it can, I, I think we can really put anything that fits there because the neighborhood doesn't really have a lot around there. Right, and I believe that your, your team has an idea of what, what things you can put there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in mind, right? Um, the first question, does the community have an, have an opinion in what they want in the space? This is a really good question, and I think that what we can do, Sonia, is perhaps prepare a stakeholder survey 
so we can send it out to the community. Perhaps Ms. Heatherbutts can help us roll it out at some point. Okay. Yeah, I'd be happy to. They would actually really appreciate that. Well, that's all I've done for now, and I'm still doing research on them too. All right, we'll move on to the next.